The book says the dead know of nothing. Mm -hmm. It isn't talking about your spirit. It's talking about your flesh. Right. For when flesh die, flesh don't know nothing. That's right. But the spirit do know. Mm -hmm. We all must agree that Moses and Elijah was not living when Jesus was here. That's right. One was buried by God and the other didn't die. Mm -hmm. One was buried by God, which is Moses, and the other was translated. That's right. But when Jesus was on the mountain of transfiguration, the spirit of Moses and Elijah appeared. And behold, listen in the book of in the book of Saint Luke, chapter nine. Listen and begin at verse thirty. What? And behold, they talked with him. They talked with him. Two men. Two men. Which was Moses. Which was Moses. And he and Elijah. And Elijah who appeared in glory. Wait a minute. Amen. How do you know there was Moses and Elijah? These men, one was dead and the other never died. That's right. But the human side of both ceased to exist. Go ahead. One was elevated mm -hmm. and went and took on his own immortality. That's right. Which was Elijah. Go ahead. Go ahead. He kept his look. Yes. And he kept his shape. Mm -hmm. And he kept his identity. That's See, when right. you die and your spirit come out, mm -hmm. it's to steal the spirit of the man. Right. And the spirit has its same shape, mm -hmm. same form, yeah. same, fashion, same fashion. Just a different nature. That's right. Notice what the Bible called Elijah and Moses. And behold, they talked with him two men. Who to what? Two men. To what? Two men. That lets you know what image they still help. That's right. Even after death. I, that's right. They didn't change to a cloud. No, they didn't. That's good teaching, brother. Two men. Right there. Right there. Right there. That scripture debunked. Go ahead. It debunks. Go ahead. What the Indian call reincarnation. Reincarnation. That's right. It debunks. That's right. That's true. It's your reincarnation is when you die, you come back as something else. No, you don't. That's right. No, go ahead. Go There's ahead. one man. Go ahead. Taken up in a whirlwind. Right. Here's another man. Has such favor. Yeah. God buried him. That's right. But God Go ahead, man. made Moses a promise. Right. He told Moses the image or the similitude of the Lord. or the likeness or the form yes. or the fashion right. or the figure right. of the Lord. Right. Thou shalt behold. behold. That's right. I right, listen to what I'm talking about. Go ahead. Look for pen. And behold, they talked with him two men. Two what? Two men. These men been gone. That's right. That's right. That shows you that man consists of human and divine. That's something. He consists of heaven and earth. And earth. God buried Moses. He buried the earth. That's right. The dust went back to dust. Yes. But Solomon says the spirit go back to God. Right. Where is God? Everywhere. Everywhere. Go ahead. Listen. And behold, they talked with him two men. They talked to him two men. Which were Moses. Which were Moses. And Elias. And Elias. Who appeared in glory. Who appeared in glory, meaning they appeared in the spirit. That's right. Huh? That's they right. They appeared in the spirit. Amen. Uh -huh. And spake of his decease. Wait a minute. Go ahead, brother. Which shows you it is the spirit of a man. Yeah. That holds the knowledge of things. That's right. The spirit. Go ahead, brother. Because it says the dead know of nothing. Mm -hmm. That's why the book says the body mm -hmm. without, without the, the spirit, spirit is dead. dead. You have no spirit? Mm -hmm. What can you understand? You have no spirit? Can't walk, can't talk, can't eat, can't drink, can't function. That's right. So the spirits of two men, two men. of old time, mm -hmm. having a conversation mm -hmm. with Jesus. And spake of his deceit. And they talk about his death, which he should accomplish at Jerusalem. Which should, should accomplish. They had the knowledge Go ahead, of what was going to happen. That's right. And before it happened, that's right. It says what? Who appeared in glory and spake of his decease. And then what? Which he should accomplish at Jerusalem. Which should accomplish at Jerusalem. At Jerusalem. Now, to show you that the spirit is eternal, mm -hmm. they appeared once. That's right. 
but those same two by divine prophecy is to come back again that's right before you go to revelation give me zachariah zachariah amen everybody all right amen i want to show you how valuable that's right man is that's right that's right there was go ahead brother the same prophets Moses and Elijah I want everyone to listen Zechariah chapter 4 and begin reading at verse 11 their names is not mentioned here no don't have to be mm -hmm. well how can you say who they are Jesus said mm -hmm. I will know you by your fruits by your fruits by your works that's right what you produce mm -hmm. now listen good at the language of the book Zechariah chapter 4 and at verse 11 all right then answered I now what the Bible gonna deal with hieroglyphics or symbols mm -hmm. and we're gonna break these symbols down right. and show you who these men were that's and right. what these symbols mean that's right listen then answered I then answered I and said unto him what are these two olive trees what are these two olive trees now hold it mm -hmm. listen from the olive plant you bring oil 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 is used to anoint that's right which showing you that these two plants or trees mm -hmm. was dealing with spirit that's right spiritual things right. or the moving on God what was it called again two olive trees to what two olive trees the tree represents something natural right olive represent the oil the substance that's put in the natural that's right which letting you know that it's the spirit that's going to be in a tree a tree is a plant which is the planting of the lord that must begin as a seed the book called jesus the seed of david and isaiah call him a tender plant or a young plant that's right Go ahead, brother. Listen. Then answered I and said unto him, What are these two olive trees? What are these two? Two olive, olive trees. Olive trees. Upon the right side of the candlestick. On the right side hmm. of the candlestick. And standing hmm. in the presence of power. That's right. On the right side of the candlestick. Mm -hmm. You know, if you get something and uh, standing near a candlestick, right. bless God, the light of the candle begin to reflect the image of what's there that's right listen what are these two olive trees that's the question mm -hmm. what are they upon the right side of the candlestick listen and upon the left side thereof what else and i answered again and said unto him what be these two olive branches what be these two olive branches which through the two golden pipes Hold it! amen which through through the two golden pipes empty the golden oil they empty the golden oil out of themselves listen go ahead brother the pipes were the voice right. of the prophets that's right it was called what kind of pipes two, two golden pipes golden let you know the message that come from them right is valuable and the message brings deliverance that's right that's right are you getting what i'm talking that's right what else what be these two olive branches and which through the do two golden pipes empty the golden oil out of themselves their anointing Amen. gotta be pulled out of a man that's right huh? that's right notice when something is pulled out it got to be lifted and tilted right. you get what i'm telling you go ahead it can't lift and tilt itself that's right it has to get in the hands of something greater than the one that have it that's right and lift it and tilt it that's right that lets you know that the messenger got to be lifted or elevated go ahead go ahead go ahead go ahead go ahead it got to be elevated by the power of the presence of God go ahead. and then God must pour out of him. Go ahead, brother. He got to pour out go ahead. that spirit go ahead. or that anointing go ahead. or that unction. That's right. Huh? That's right. And when it pours out and it, your cup will overflow and it'll be like rivers go ahead. of living water. living water. That's what happened when Peter go ahead, preached brother. to the Gentile. That's right. God Hallelujah. pulled out Hallelujah. through his pipes That's right. and so much oil go Hallelujah. was flowing. Go ahead. And fell on the Gentile. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Go ahead. And fell on the Gentile. Hallelujah. And it was all filled. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 It was all glory to God. All filled. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With the Holy Ghost. And the end. Hallelujah. The speaking tongue. And the spirit. 
Ay, 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 Must be empty. If the preacher don't have no oil in his lamp, if the Spirit of God is not in Light. Hallelujah. The presence of God is not in him. That's right. He's lifeless. That's right. There is no unction. Go ahead. It's just loud words. Go ahead. It's good sounding talk. Go ahead. But the body Go ahead. without the spirit, without the spirit. is dead. That's right. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You understand? Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Glory take God. What be these two olive branches? What be these two olive branches? Which through the two golden pipes. Which through mm. the two golden pipes. Empty the golden oil. Empty the golden oil. Out of themselves. Out of themselves. And he answered me and said. And said. Knowest thou what these be? Do you know what this is? And I said, no, my Lord. This is the prophet. That's right. This is a man of God. That's right. He didn't know. Didn't know. Which shows you flesh and blood cannot reveal it to you. Amen. But the spirit or God which is in heaven. That's right. Listen. Then said he, these are the two anointed ones. Oh. Amen. Hallelujah. These. Go ahead. Go ahead. Are the two anointed ones. Out of the mouth of two. Yes. Of three witnesses. Amen. Let me word. Be established. That's right. These are the two. Notice. It didn't call their name. No. These are the two but anointed we ones. The Bible going to tell you who it is. That's right. Without calling their name. That's right. These are the two. These are the two anointed ones. Anointed Ones. That stand by the Lord of the whole earth. Wait a minute. Mm. They stand. Amen. They're in the presence. Yes. And when this was written, go ahead. They were already dead. Yeah. That's right. Already dead. That's right. Moses was dead. Elijah was already changed. That's right. But they're standing. Standing by the pre by the Lord. Standing by, by the, the Lord. Lord of the whole earth. Of the whole earth. Whole earth. Let, let you know that God can command their spirits to appear and disappear right. whenever He wants. That's right. Go ahead. In the presence Go ahead. of God. That's right. They was called the anointed. Two anointed ones. Yet their name wasn't mentioned. That's right. Let's go further in the book of Revelation. In the book of Revelation chapter 11. The Apostle John saw the same thing, Zechariah. And begin But reading. John, mm -hmm. by the Spirit, was moved to give us a little bit more information. That's right. Just a little bit more salt. That's right. On the same message. That's right. Listen. Revelation chapter 11, we'll start at verse 3. What is it? And I will give power. I will give power. Unto my two witnesses. Unto you better go up at verse one. Come on, son. And there was given me a reed like unto a rod. Yes. And the angel stood saying, Rise and measure the temple of God. Measure God temple. And the altar. And the sacred place. And them that worship therein. And them that worship. Notice mm -hmm. there was given him a reed, a reed. And a charge was given him to do what? Measure the temple of God. You see, a lot of men just saw that part being measured, but it wasn't just that part. No. He said, measure the temple. The temple of God. Of God. And the and altar. And the altar. Measure the altar. And, and them that worship You better name. measure the people. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Go ahead. You gotta measure temple, yes. altar, yes. people. That's right. Go, Go ahead. Take card. Go ahead. You got to measure. Measure. Temple. Mm. Altar. Altar. People. People. My Lord. Temple. Your body is the temple of the living God. Go ahead. And is weighed in a balance and found wanting. There's a certain measurement you got to meet. Go ahead. Huh? 
Go ahead. That lets you know God is building a house. You got to measure it. Go ahead. Exact no more than what's upon it. That's right. By what measure you use. That's right. That's right. By what measure you use. That's right. It's going to come back to you. Come back to you. Are you listening? Amen. And measure was... mean judge it. <laughs> measure mean judge it. Go ahead. When you judge a thing, you're measuring it. Go ahead. You're evaluating it. Measure the temple. Measure the temple. Now, measure the, and the altar. And the altar. Measure the altar. You got to measure how they behave when they're at the sacred place. That's right. How they offer up. See how they're offering up themselves. Present, offer up themselves as a living sacrifice. You know, the altar represents where the offering is offered. So that got to be measured. That's right. Got to be judged how you offer that. That's right. What else? And them that worship there is. Oh. And now you got to worship. measure or evaluate or judge worship. That's right. They that worship God must worship God in spirit and in truth. In truth. The judgment lets you know how he wanted. it. That's for right. the Father seeketh such or want such to worship him. That's right. Why? God is a spirit. Mm -hmm. And it's purpose of letting you know that God is a spirit right then. That crush the worship of idolatry. That's right. Right then. Right then. They that worship God. That's right. Must worship God in spirit and in truth. He said for the Father or for seek God it, seek, it seek. seek it He such. wants such to worship, to worship him. That's then right. he gave the reason why. Go ahead. For God is a, a spirit. spirit. That's right. That eliminate bowing to calves. That's right. That eliminate you looking at a picture of a white Jesus. Go ahead. Go ahead. Breaking your head. That's right. And your chest. That's right. And your stomach. Amen. That eliminate you bowing and praying to a black Jesus. Go ahead. That eliminate you praying to a statue. Go ahead. God. God is a spirit. Is a spirit. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Go ahead. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? Go ahead, brother. The word says what? And it was given me a reed. It was given me a reed. Like unto a rod. Like a rod. And the angel stood, saying, The angel rise, stood, get up. And measure the temple of God. Measure God house. And the altar. Measure the altar. And them that worship there. And them there that worship there. But the court which is without. The court without. The temple leave out. Why? Why, and, why leave that out? And measure it not. Because anybody can come there. That's right, sir. So when you right. first come into the court, you ain't governed by measure. That's right. It's That's right. whosoever will. That's right. Let That's him come. That's right. When they get in the court, now measurements start. That's right. Huh? That's right. Do you hear what it says there? Right. But the court which is without the, the temple. Court that is without. Without the temple. Do what? Leave out. Don't touch it. And measure it not. If they come in, let them come in anywhere they want. For it is given unto the Gentiles. It is given to the Gentiles. Unto the Gentiles. To what? And 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 the holy city. You see? Go ahead. When they come without, go ahead, brother. It's given to the Gentiles. That's right. That's those that's not Jews by nationality. Right. Other ethnic groups now. Right. Come on, son. And the holy city shall they tread underfoot forty and two months. Yes. And I will give power. I will give hold it. Go ahead, brother. I. God talking. That's right. I will give power unto my two witnesses. Look how important man is. Amen. That he would even bring them back mm. from the dead That's right. and get future use out of them. That's right. Notice what he says. And I will give power. I will give power unto my two unto witnesses. Unto my two witnesses. And they shall prophesy. They shall prophesy. A thousand two hundred and three score days. What? I, and they shall prophesy. How long? A thousand two hundred. Thousand two hundred. Two hundred and three score and days. Three score days. Clothed in sackcloth. Clothed in what? Sackcloth. If you evaluate a thousand two hundred and three score days, you would get a profit three years and a half. Mm -hmm. Huh? Amen. Listen. These, These are the two olive trees. Here we are again. It is. Amen. These. These are the two olive No trees. name is going to be called. No. No. But listen. These are the two these olive trees. are the two olive trees. And the two candlesticks. And, and these are the two. Hold it. Not only 
are the two olive trees. Olive trees. But it's also the two candlesticks. Two candlesticks. Showing you the characteristics. That's right. Say when you're anointed, mm. you give off fire. That's right. Hallelujah. It is written how he called his ministers. A flame, flame of fire. Flame. That's right. Flame of fire. That's right. They are anointed. Go ahead. Huh? Go ahead. You know if you put oil on water and throw a match, the oil burn. Yes. You understand? That's right. So when you get the preacher that got the spirit of God in him yes. and got the fire of the Holy Ghost, he burned. Burns. He give off the light or the intelligence of the Holy One. That's right. Listen. These are the two olive trees. These are the two olive trees. And the two candlesticks. And the two candlesticks. Standing before the God of Standing the earth. Standing before the God of the earth. And if any man will hurt them. Uh-oh. Any man. Don't touch my, don't touch not my anointing. That's right. That's right. Do my prophet no harm. No harm. If any man. And if any man will hurt them. Will hurt them. Fire proceedeth out of their mouth. Hold it. <laughs> now hold it. Go ahead, bro. If any man will hurt them. Mm -hmm. Fire proceedeth. Listen, you better not hurt Moses today. And you better not hurt Elijah. Well, someone say, how can I hurt them? Bother what they said. That's right. Try to change what they said. That's right. Try to alter what God said out of their mouth. Go ahead. You're still bothering Moses. That's right. You're still bothering Elijah. That's right. You bother anything. Any because Jesus said the words. That's right. That I speak unto you. Their spirit and their life. Go ahead. They words still give you life today. That's right. Listen. And if any man will hurt them. If any man hurt them. Fire proceeds the, the, out of the, their the mouth. The power of God will come from the golden pipes. That's right. That's the mouth. That's right. What else? And devour with their enemies. And consume their enemy. And if any man will hurt them. If any man hurt them. He must in this manner be killed. How? These have power to shut heaven. Uh oh, didn't call their name. No. But it shows you their works. That's right. These has power. To shut heaven. To shut heaven. That it rain not. That's Elijah. That's right. <laughs> shut heaven up. That's right. Didn't rain. Mm -hmm. In the days of their prophecy. When? In the days of their prophecy. It showed you that he wasn't alive here. That's right. Because it said when? In the days, in of, the their days of their prophecy. Meaning during a time when God was using them. On a time there was a lie. That's right. But what kind of work did he do? These have power to shut heaven. That's Elijah. Amen. It didn't rain. That's right. Yeah? That's right. Glory to God. And during the time of the king, yes. he was thirsty. Yes. He told the prophet, Look, we need some water. Go ahead. Go ahead. The prophet said, I tell you what you do, go in the valley. Yes. And dig ditches. That's right. Everywhere. Everywhere. And the ditch is gonna be filled with water. That's right. How it gonna happen, prophet? Go it's not gonna rain. Yeah. Nor will it be a do. Yes. But the ditches, it shall be filled. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Shall be filled. Go ahead. Elijah said, I went to Mount Carmel. Preach it. Dropped my head. Preach it. Down between my knees. Go ahead, brother. And I talked to the God of Abraham. Go ahead. Go ahead. Elijah said, Then I saw a hand. That's right. As a piece of cloud. That's right. Coming up. Go ahead. Coming up out of the water. Go ahead. Let you know God had. Go ahead. Rose the firmament. Go ahead. Man. It rose the heavens. Amen. And rose the earth. Go ahead. In the days. In the days of their prophets. While they was alive. That's right. What did they do? These have power to shut heaven. That's Elijah. Amen. Power to shut heaven. That's right. For what reason? That it rain not. That it don't do no rain. In the days of their prophets. While they was living. And. Uh oh. And. Have power over waters. Have power over waters. To turn them to blood. That's Moses. That's right. I know you your body works. That's right. <laughs> hey! That's right. Oh, Go ahead. Turn waters. Go ahead. Into, into blood. blood. Into blood. And, and to smite the earth. To smite the earth. With all plagues. With all plagues. As often as they will. As often as they will. Amen. That's Moses and Elisha. Go ahead. Didn't call their name. Go ahead. But you know them by their works. That's right. That's right. Wonderful. It's like sometimes there's some men in your neighborhood who got a reputation of being so wicked. You can just describe what happened. And you're like, man, I know who that is. You understand? That's right. Know them by their works. 